Good morning, it's Nikki here. Today I am going to be showing you how I'm gonna take this screw out of the wall. Now this screw has a story behind it. My mum made my baby an advent calendar this year and I said to my husband, I want to hang it somewhere prominent, somewhere nice. We're currently in my living room, which we finished just prior to Christmas with a lovely walls painted, done. And then I came home <laughs> after having made my request for an advent calendar hanging space to this. This hole in my brand new wall. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just zoom you in so you can see. Um, literally, he put a screw in the wall ready for the advent calendar, but it blew the plaster. So we've now got a massive hole around this screw um, and the screw is still stuck in the wall. Like we're in March now and the screw is still in the wall. It's ruining this. So today I'm going to take the screw out and I'm going to patch it all up and I thought I would just film a video and take you along for the ride. <laughs> first things first, these are the tools that I'm going to use. So um, I've got my screwdrivers here to get the screw out with, a pair of pliers to pull the roll plug out. Um, this is just the socket set for the screwdriver. Um, and then I've got poly filler to fill the hole. Um, filler knife, I'll talk about these more in detail later, but this is a filler knife and then I've got two paint brushes Probably only need the one, but I've got two just in case um, This is to mix the filler in and then of course the paint which we have got the Dulux Easy Care in the colour Sapphire Salute, which is what our wall is currently painted in <laughs> My dad taught Lee how to put a screw in the wall and uh, my dad was a builder so of course it's been done properly because my dad would not have had it any other way. Therefore, I mean, I could get a pair of pliers and just try and yank this out the wall, but I'll show you now. It's very well wedged in there, even though it blew the plaster. Like, that's going to take a lot, and if I just pull that, I'm going to risk ruining more of the plaster work. So the first thing I'm going to do is undo the screw slightly. Now, a raw plug, which is what this red is here, this is what makes the screw stay in the wall really well. Um, as you screw into a raw plug, it expands into the hole. So I've unscrewed it slightly to try and make the raw plug a little bit, so it's got bits that stick out on the side, so to try and draw them back in, I'm just unscrewing the screw slightly from the raw plug. I'm not gonna pull it out all the way because I wanna use the screw to pull it out of the wall. So, next I'm gonna get my pair of pliers, try and get a good grip, and hopefully, with a little bit of tugging, that should come out. There we go. This is what happens when you screw the raw plug in, it expands this end of the raw plug out. So to take it easier, I've just unscrewed it that little bit and it does make a difference. Now it's time to mix up my filler. Filler is really easy uh, to mix. Uh, it's literally just polyfiller and water. I put a little bit of polyfiller in there. And then I normally do this at the sink, but I have got a cup of water just to show you. I like to make a little bit of a hole into the middle of the filler um, just to pour the water into and then I'm just gonna tip a little bit of water in there. That, did, that didn't work very well because I'm doing it in a mug not like I'd normally do <laughs> under a tap but if you do that under a tap it's much easier um, but I wasn't sure how to hold the camera and do a tap so Anyway, I'm going to just start mixing. I'm mixing with my filler knife. I put way too much water in here because, see previous comment about mug. <laughs> you do not need that much water for that little amount of polyfiller. So, it's not a problem. All I'm gonna do is add some more powder. There's always holes in, in the house somewhere that I can fill with this because our house is not finished. Uh, so, I figure if I make too much, I'll just start filling holes elsewhere in the house. Um, if you make too much, just wait for it to dry and then you can scrape it out. Um, you can see I am using a takeaway container. Oh, I've moved that completely off screen, sorry. I'm using a, a takeaway container to mix up my um, filler. I do that because it's easy. It's not like it's gonna go anywhere. So you can see the consistency is getting better. Um, but I want it just slightly thicker because it's a deep hole. I don't want it too runny um, And this is still slightly too runny. Um, so I'm just gonna add a little bit more if I was going to be filling like shallower um, Areas I would tend to use a more watery mix um, So like if I'm filling the walls when I'm decorating I use a more watery mix, but if I'm filling a deep hole like this one is um, 
I like to make it a bit thicker because it fills the hole a bit better. Okay, so we're back to the hole. Um, just before I put the filler in, what I am gonna do is just take a bit of sandpaper and just make sure there's no bits that are standing proud. Of and I like to fill it gradually, so I'm gonna put a little bit on. And you see, what I always do is I go on in one direction and then take the excess off in the opposite direction. What that means, if I go over the same way twice, you risk pulling the, I don't know if you can see that, but it like kind of pulls the filler back out of the hole. So you always go on in one direction, off in the other direction. Um, <laughs> that's how you fill a hole. Yeah, it's quite a big area around it, but that will just brush off once it's dried. Um, I might have to refill it just slightly. You can see there is some undulations in the filler just here, um, but that's pretty much done. That's not bad for a first go. Now I'm gonna have to walk around the rest of the house because as I said, I made way too much filler. Oh, I've also put you really low. <laughs> um, I weighed way too much filler, but there is plenty of holes in this house. So I'm now gonna go and use this filler somewhere else. Um, and then we'll come back to this once it's dry. Okay, my first layer of filler is, is dry, but you can see it's a little bit ridgy. Um, and seeing as it goes inwards, so it goes under the wall line, I'm just gonna fill it again. So I have made up a small amount of filler. Um, just a little tiny bit down there. Nice and watery this time because it's only a shallow hole. Um, and I'm gonna just refill that. A little bit over the top. And you can see, again, I'm going the same direction. So I put it on in one direction, off in the other direction. Once all sanded down, brush around the edges to get rid of any excess of the uh, powder, and then it's on to our paint. It's really important to give paint a really good stir, whether it's new or old paint, you've got to make sure that pigment is nicely mixed all the way through. Now one of the key things is making sure that you've not got too much paint on your paintbrush when you're going over filler, because you really don't want a lot. So, like just as a first coat, you want a virtually dry brush just to get a little bit of colour to cover the white. We're not trying to fully cover and make this the final coat, this is just to get rid of the little bit of white. So it needs to be a really, really dry brush. Okay, so somehow I lost the footage of me doing the last coat on the wall, um, but I just wanted to show you, this is the finished wall. Um, what I did was went over with one more coat over the area here. I did actually, I used a mini roller to do it in the end rather than a paintbrush, just so that uh, it would have a same effect finish as the rest of the wall. Um, and I don't think you can really see where I did the work at all, which is great. Um, we have paired, just as a quick, to show you, I've paired the dark blue with a nice, uh, I think this is Egyptian cotton. Um, I just think it went really well, kind of together. Um, and our lovely fish tank there with our fishes in it. Um, but yeah, hope you've enjoyed the video of getting rid of the lovely hole that was in my wall. And hopefully it gave you some tips for your decorating. I'll see you again soon. Bye.